Welcome to my paint studio. This is Dion Woods with the TurquoiseIris.com. One of my favorite paint mediums to use is acrylic, just like many other artists. However, I do a lot of finger painted flowers. So that is when my DIY paint comes into play, comes into action. I do not mind having all of this paint on my fingers. Don't worry about it being on my body. I've got it here here in my tray and piled up on the floor. I'm getting ready to add my DIY paint to this 30 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas. So let's do this. Okay, let's get started. First thing we do is start with some DIY paint. I'm just gonna start on the base first. Kind of gives me a place to start. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not gonna sketch anything. I'm not even gonna make it straight. Most of it's going to be covered up by flowers anyway. This is mermaid tail. This right here, this color is reason itself to invest in some DIY paint. Look at it. Look at it. It's perfection in a plastic jewel. All right, so I'm gonna outline what I just did. Just outline it a little bit. Kind of, guys, this is gonna be a little bit abstract. These are all just kind of a foundation for where we're going to start adding our flowers. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Every day, yes. I'm going to go up here to the top. This is an acrylic base, but I want to actually add a little bit more of this color to balance. So I'm just going to rub it on here. I'm going to grab my water bottle it a little bit. And better yet, spritz it a lot more and it starts dripping. Okay, there we go. All right. Perfect. I know you might be saying, why are you finger painting? Why not use a brush? Um, I kind of found that I have a knack for it. I kind of found that I have more control over this. I don't know. I truly, truly. Try not to make the leaves too perfect. This is just the background color. It's just going to be there for the flowers, for support, for a little extra color back there. So don't overanalyze it. because there's flies and she is the master at fly catching. Abby, Abby, tell him, show him how you catch those flies. Yes, you know what you're thinking. <laughs> Why are we filming this? Why am I watching this? Guys, I promise, let's do some flowers and then you might start to understand. Let's do this. I'm adding Summer Crush on top of my Queen Bee for extra depth with my petals. Swishes. Just gonna make a few swishes. All right, this is kind of our drama. 
schematic look here. Got some swishes. a good floral arrangement is no consistency. I love it when they're off balance a little bit. They don't quite. What I don't like about a really well represented floral arrangement is perfect balance and symmetry. It just, that's not, that's not the way flowers grow. And so although a bouquet is typically supposed to be really elegant sometimes, that's not what I like to see in my own arrangements. These are just highlighted things and kind of just fun. I'm going to grab a little bit brighter white and then I'm going to grab a fuchsia called Kissing Booth. And uh, these, like I said, these are just something I'm adding for a little bit of drama. We still have a long ways to go on this painting. So hang tight. I'm having a blast. Um, white is really good to come back in with some highlights too. which is our fuchsia. Told you about this. Kind of offset the brightness of the yellow. Abby's getting fired up at the kids getting out of school, so you're gonna likely hear her bark. I apologize in advance. I think I stopped her barking when I started talking because she thought, oh, someone's here, let's play. Oh, there she goes, yes, that's my girl. Sorry, sorry guys. Offset some of this bright. The colors of DIY are named in the most fun names, such as Kissing Booth, Queen Bee, and Mermaid Tail. So fun. We're getting closer to being done, but these are still colors that we're adding, and then eventually we will need to add just some highlights and some, you know, some texture and stuff. Super important. All of my paintings are on the turquoiseiris.com once I get them finished. I do ship all over the US. I'm having the most fun with this style, I think, than any other style I've ever done. And I apologize again for the barking. I'm not gonna edit it out though, because this is my life and this is what it's like. And I love my girl. This next color I'm using to create a lily-like type of flower is Cowgirl Coral. It happens to be one of the very first DIY paint colors I ever used. I came back in with some mermaid tail. This is adding depth, almost like a darker shade and a heaviness to all of the bold, bright colors. So there's balance. you to remember that five-year-old inside mix and swoosh and smear and drip spray see what happens it's really 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 fun i love it i hope you guys do too it'll be available at the shortly you guys